Amid the scorching winds that constantly sweep across the Middle Eastern deserts, where the sun blazes mercilessly, searing the earth, and the horizon is veiled in swirling sand, there stands a resilient tree, reaching boldly toward the sky, as if defying the harshness of nature itself. This is the date palm, revered for centuries as the tree of life in arid lands. With its naturally rich sweetness, the date is often called nature's candy. More than just a vital food source, it's a powerful cultural symbol and the pride of some of the toughest farming environments on Earth. But behind the humble appearance of each ripe, glossy date lies an extraordinary journey. From planting in hot desert sands and enduring extreme climates to demanding harvests and high-tech processing methods, Today, let Radiant Farming take you deep into the world of dates, a fruit that is not only food, but also a testament to human resilience, innovation, and tireless effort. A treasure cultivated and cherished across thousands of years of history. The date palm, scientifically known as Phoenix dactylifera, is a member of the palm family and is primarily grown for its fruit. It originated in the ancient Mesopotamian region, modern-day Iraq and surrounding areas, where it has been cultivated and consumed for at least 6,000 years. Date palms are remarkably well adapted to dry climates. They thrive in hot, arid environments with abundant sunlight, ideally with more than 100 sunny days per year. Their deep roots allow them to access groundwater far beneath the surface. Still, they require substantial irrigation during fruit development, usually provided through modern drip systems. Date palms are commonly propagated either from seeds or more often from offshoots, small shoots that sprout from the base of a mature mother palm. Offshoots are preferred because they maintain the genetic qualities of the parent tree. A healthy mother palm can produce 10 to 30 offshoots during its lifetime. Once separated, the offshoots are planted in well-drained loose soil, spaced about 25 to 30 feet apart to allow each tree ample room for canopy and root growth. In the first few years after planting, date palms need careful attention. Watering, frequent irrigation when young, transitioning to precise drip irrigation as the tree matures, a sustainable solution amid climate change and water scarcity. Fertilization, a combination of organic and trace mineral fertilizers. pruning and pest control, removing excess leaves, and managing pests boosts airflow, productivity, and fruit quality. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, more than 100 countries grow dates, with global annual production exceeding 9 million metric tons. Egypt leads the world, producing over 1.7 million tons of dates per year, Iran and Saudi Arabia also rank among the top producers, each exceeding 1 million tons annually. Other key players include Algeria, Iraq, Pakistan, and Sudan, which all contribute significantly to the global supply chain. 
In the United States, particularly California's Coachella Valley, production is smaller but highly specialized. Varieties like Medjool and Barhi are premium dates, fetching up to three times the price of ordinary dates thanks to ideal growing conditions and cutting-edge agricultural practices. Before a mature palm tree can yield tens of thousands of dates each year, farmers must perform a vital step, pollination, which usually begins three to five years after planting, depending on the variety and growing conditions. Unlike many fruit trees that can self-pollinate, date palms require cross-pollination. That means both male and female trees are needed for fruit to form. The process starts with identifying the male tree, which is recognizable by its long ivory-colored flower clusters. Once these flowers mature, they are carefully cut and their fine pollen is harvested. Then, skilled farmers transfer the pollen to the blooming flowers on female trees, a golden step that directly affects the harvest quantity and quality. Typically, the pollen is applied by hand or sprayed onto the female flowers using specialized tools. To give you an idea of scale, a single healthy male tree can produce enough pollen to fertilize up to 50 female trees. About three weeks after pollination, tiny date fruits begin to form in clusters on the mother tree, marking the quiet beginning of their journey under the blazing sun and relentless wind. In California, by mid-spring, farm workers begin thinning medjool dates, removing some of the young fruits by hand to allow the remaining ones to grow larger. This process requires speed and finesse, as workers skillfully snip selected buds from the cluster. Next, the fruit bunches are gently tied down to provide support as they gain weight and approach full maturity. Over the following months, something fascinating happens. About two months before harvest, each date cluster is enclosed in a breathable mesh bag, acting like a natural armor to protect the fruit from pests and birds. These bags also help the dates ripen evenly, deepen in color, and enhance their flavor. Beneath the scorching desert sun, workers climb the towering palms or are lifted by cranes to reach the high clusters of ripening dates. Their tasks include removing sharp thorns and trimming away old palm fronds. These thorns, sharp enough to puncture car tires, pose serious hazards if left untrimmed. Pruning not only protects workers throughout the harvest season, but also clears the way to access the ripening date clusters. On small to mid-sized farms, under the blazing desert sun, rope harnesses become the only way for farmers to climb up and reach the towering palms. Once at the top, the harvester uses a specialized knife to carefully cut down each bunch, lowering them gently with a pulley system. It's grueling, high-risk work that demands strength, balance, and experience. Climbing tall, swaying trees without full safety equipment can be both exhausting and dangerous. That's why on larger farms, modern harvesting equipment is increasingly being used, replacing manual labor with safer, faster, and more efficient techniques. Before each shift, hydraulic lifts and platforms are thoroughly inspected, and workers are strapped in with full safety harnesses. Specialized tools like shears or harvesting knives are used for precision cutting. These hydraulic arms can extend between 30 to 65 feet high, allowing workers to easily reach the hanging fruit clusters without having to climb the dangerously tall trunks. As they approach the golden bunches, workers gently pick the dates by hand, 
or shake the mesh bags that surround the ripe fruit, letting them safely fall into the netting spread out below. Those mesh bags that once protected the fruit from pests, now they catch any loose dates that fall during harvest. The adoption of modern technology has increased harvest productivity by up to 10 times compared to traditional manual methods. Most notably, it has significantly improved labor safety. Although the initial investment costs are relatively high, this is the key reason why premium medjool dates from California's Coachella Valley can fetch up to three times the market price. Meanwhile, over 90% of dates in Egypt and the Middle East are still harvested by hand with much lower production costs, making them more suitable for large-scale supply chains and mass consumption. But the sun-drenched desert only accounts for half of what makes these dates exceptional. The other half of this sweet journey truly begins when the ripe fruit enters the processing facility, where the final quality of each date is determined. Upon arrival, all dates undergo an initial inspection before entering the processing line. Any batches that don't meet standards are rejected or diverted for separate handling. Qualified batches proceed to the processing stage. First, the dates are poured onto a conveyor belt and transported to the cleaning area. Here, they are soaked in large water tanks equipped with aeration systems and high-pressure spray nozzles. This step removes dust, sand, insects, and any debris clinging to the fruit surface. While high-pressure washing effectively eliminates surface dirt and residue, it cannot completely remove pesticide residues that may have penetrated the skin. That's why strict control of farming practices and careful selection of raw materials are essential to ensure safe, high-quality products. After cleaning, the dates are moved to a multi-lane conveyor, neatly aligned to avoid overlap and minimize impact. At the end of the conveyor, the dates pass through a series of automated inspection systems, including industrial cameras, multi-spectral scanners, and sometimes light pressure sensors. This advanced system can process up to 50,000 dates per hour, the equivalent of what around 1,000 manual workers could sort in the same amount of time. It optimizes efficiency, reduces labor costs, and ensures highly accurate grading. For premium whole fresh fruit products, the sorted dates undergo one final manual check by trained staff to ensure only the highest quality fruit moves on to the next phase. Depending on the intended use, Dates are either packaged fresh as whole fruit or sent to drying chambers. Following thorough inspection, each date is transferred to an automatic portioning machine where sensors precisely determine the weight needed for each package, ensuring consistency across all final products. Next, the dates are funneled through distribution tubes and automatically filled into bags, boxes, or plastic trays depending on the intended packaging format. A heat sealing system works in perfect sync with the portioning unit to instantly seal each pack, preventing exposure to outside air and preserving freshness. From ancient groves to high-tech facilities, the story of the date is one of heritage, resilience, and innovation. What began as a humble desert fruit has now become a symbol of both tradition and technological progress. We hope you enjoyed this fascinating journey through the harvest and processing of dates. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share it with fellow agriculture enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss more incredible stories from the heart of farms around the world.